Hi everybody, this is a tutorial about Excel Fly with X tool, the farm system management. So what kind of problem that uh, we're trying to solve here? Let's see, do you have a cleanup that is overdue for your document folder? Or in general, you have headache to manage all your files. Sometimes we tend to over backup our files that uh, copy it here and there, yet when we do need them, it's just very difficult to find them. And do you still remember what you did to your file or folder five minutes ago? In case you remember, what about five days ago? So all of these, uh, if are some concern to you, Xtor can help. As always, it has one button access to file and folder management utility applications. Every changes that uh, you, you deal with file and folder are trackable. What to take away is file management made easy with Xtor and it's trackable. Let's dive into the example. Files on our local computer as a Windows object can be uniquely identified with a file path. Um, so let's start with uh, listing file path. So we select this file underscore list file path. Hit X tool. We can um, we can select a list of files. In this case, we can select these files. It asks us to select where we're gonna list them. So all the files file path are shown here. It's hyperlinked so that you can you can also list the file by its name, which uh, let's do the same and uh, put it uh, for comparison. So it's, it's the same files are listed, but they are the, only the file name uh, are listed. This is comes neatly uh, when you don't want to look at where they are located, only want to focus on the file itself. Uh, but uh, again, these files are hyperlinked. You can also list the files within the folder. Original folder, there's many levels of subfolders that uh, you can list all the files within these folders. So it asks you if you want to include the subfolder, click yes and uh, click a location where your files are, will be listed and it will go through each and every folder. This is all the files within this original root folder, underscore 11 and underscore 111 and underscore 1111. So all the files within that folder are listed hereby. And uh, there are many other functions, but let's move on to the modif modify. We can copy file, move file, rename files, and so on and so forth. Let's say in this uh, demo, uh, we need to copy a particular file a uh, file to many many uh, files uh, essentially duplicate them to with with the name uh, of a pen uh, 0102 and and so on and so forth and we do the same thing for another file and uh, with uh, with 18 copy of, of them so let's just do a copy file and we can select these uh, two columns that uh, we prepared and all of the files are copied so you can originally you have this file and uh, it's copied to a different name uh, but uh, essentially with the same content so um, the same uh, other functions are, uh, can be operated upon a file path which is the unique id of the file uh, you can use a very flexible get and a change file property to change uh, many file properties that uh, expose to you, uh, like a file uh, author, a modified time, and, and so on and so forth. So there's a, there's a particular need for users of Excel uh, when they migrate from uh, Excel 2003 to 2007 and beyond, when it, uh, Office uh, or Microsoft start to use XLSX to identify Excel files that does not have VBA or macros in the system and XLSM to indicate it does have some kind of a program on the background. So previously 
the you cannot differentiate by the uh, by looking at the file name because all of them are named with XLS. So this demo also show you how to convert all the XLS file into according 2007 beyond format. Let's say use these uh, we use the copied file over here to convert them into according files. Let's say these are the files that we just uh, cre uh, copied. So you can select all of them, open, and uh, we can select the file location here. It will make a list of uh, all the files that is converted into 2007 and above version. All the files that is uh, uh, previously it was uh, these file because they are without VBA project they are converted to XLS X file for the ones that with VBA project they are converted to XLSM file um, we can get into we can stamp files in this case we have a particular file that uh, um, we want to stamp um, any kind of information on it for document control purpose in this case, we just demo how to manually put it in the stamp, which gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of uh, how you want to or what kind of stamp you want to add it to the file. Let's in this case that uh, we first list the files. We want to so these are the files, and uh, we want to stamp them. Let's say. This is can stamp it with a custom input. You can keep the original file or you can just override the existing file. Let's just in this case keep the original file. All of the stamps that you put it in are added to the file name. And uh, it's hyperlinked. Folders. This is something that is uh, kind of interesting that uh, Let's just uh, start with an application. Suppose you have managed some kind of a project with a file and a folder structure, fairly complicated that you have essentially engineers on each uh, contributed for each folder or for a uh, certain file type goes to certain folder structure. But now you move on to a new project that you want to use the well managed folder structure of previous project and at least build onto it. You don't want to create from scratch. Right now, if you want to copy the, the, the previous project folder to a new location, should that include a lot of file in it, it's going to be a very difficult process for you to clean the folder for you to add the new files. Um, we, we use this demo to show you how you can easily clone a folder structure without any uh, files copied. So let's say list the folder first. Um, in this case, we have an original folder that uh, you can say list all the folder. This lists all the folders uh, at each level of that folder you just picked uh, original. And there's a level one subfolder, level two, and level three, and so on and so forth. Then you can say I can make a copy of this folder and uh, I, I simply replace them with, uh, with with to let's say new so all text are replaced and then we simply choose add folder and select all the folders so it's all created with and it's hyperlinked so let's go to those folders so previously we have these original folder with folder one folder one 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 and and we just created a new folder that has an image of the original folder structure but without any files. So you can also delete folder. We can select all the folders to be deleted and uh, they are all deleted with hyperlink removed. We can go to them and uh, double check. So original the new folder and all the subfolders are all deleted. This gives you an idea how we can 
use Xtool as a platform to manipulate file and folder structure system with trackable information. You look at all the uh, examples that we have gone through so far, all the changes that we made are saved that you can easily uh, backtrack what you have done. So that concludes how to manage file system with Xtool. Again, Excel fly with Xtool. Thanks for watching.